Well, welcome to another day in paradise and um, something approaching a tinkering video for I'm in the Citroen GSA. I still have a speedometer that does not work um, and I'm going to investigate that. And I think one of the best ways is probably to try and work out whether it's the cable or the um, speedometer unit itself that's at fault. Um, I've spoken to Rob Moss at Chevronics. Um, I think Chevronics are still doing parts, though aren't that open at the moment, but Rob was still good enough to give me the benefit of his time. And uh, he said speedometer cable failure is very rare. So I'm now feeling like I've wasted several weeks. I've been waiting for a new cable to arrive. It has entirely failed and I've now given up. I've told DHL they can't deliver it. They should send it back to the supplier uh, in Germany. So they're going to do that. And I uh, wonder how much effort they've wasted on this cable. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, regardless of that, it's gone back to Der Franzos in um, Germany. Hopefully a refund will be sorted out once it gets back to them. Hopefully they don't lose it along the way. Um, but um, like I say, uh, it could not be the cable at all. So my plan is um, I'm going to disconnect the cable, try and rig the cable up in a way that I can see, and then we'll um, go for a drive and see if the cable moves. Uh, the alternative is to jack the car up, and I could jack the car up, but um, I'm very much against the idea of jacking a car up unnecessarily. Whenever you lift a car, even if it's with the clever hydraulics that these cars have, uh, it's just potential risk. Um, more chance of something going wrong, more damage being created. So I think the easiest way to test it is simply to just drive backwards and forwards and see if the end of the, of the cable move. So that's my plan. The cable itself um, plugs into the back of the speedometer here uh, and it's just a push fit. And I've had it off and on a couple of times trying to see whether it's just come a bit loose, but no, it doesn't seem to make a fat lot of difference. Um, so um, the access is terrible, by the way. On the left-hand drive ones, you would have the speaker hole here and you'd easily be able to get to it. But on the right-hand drive, you have to go through this speaker hole here and kind of ram your arm in here and get it ripped to pieces to just about reach it. But nonetheless, uh, I've got to investigate this. Um, so I can easily pull it from the bonnet end, like so. So this is a speedometer cable here, just entering the gearbox, and it runs up and around this heater box and into the dashboard here. So I'll just pull it out. That's out the back of the speedometer. Do the washer to try and stop weather getting in and there we can see the end of the um, cable but if i pull that cable through here it should fit i think Let's see if we can encourage this around here there we go so if i rig that up here and um, indeed whack it through there i should then be able to watch that and see whether that turns as the car goes back and forth. Hmm, that appears to just be a push fit into the gearbox. Uh, that's not ideal. I would have thought there would have been a bolt. Yeah, it looks like there should be a sleeve bolt. Uh, so maybe that bolt is missing and that's what's going wrong here. Very difficult to check. It's typical Citroen access. I'm at full stretch over the entire engine and uh, all this heater gubbins is in the way and yes I can confirm but if I turn that we can see the cable turning there so it looks like the problem is just that this end had popped out um, now at this point I may need uh, probably a Citroen it's probably a 7mm 11mm headed bolt I can't actually see where that bolt goes to lock it into place. Intriguing. It definitely looks like there should be a lock locking bolt, but I can't see where one would go. Oh yes, I can. Yeah, I can feel a slot in the side of that tube down there, but I still can't see where a bolt would go, but a cable tie might do the job. I haven't got any of those. Right, any join now? Yes, look at that. So I've got the um, 
speedometer connected at the gearbox end, albeit nothing to stop it just popping straight back out again. Uh, so we're going to see if we can acquire a cable tie to do something about that. Hurrah! Oh, these cars are a pig to work on. Uh, but um, many thanks to my neighbour, Katie, who I was just showing around the engine bay because she's interested in motor vehicles. And uh, she'd noticed that this pipe down here had come off. Um, so it's just part of the oil breather system. It comes all the way around to the filler neck here. Uh, it looks like someone's made it themselves, to be honest. But nonetheless, it wasn't attached here. It's blown a bit of oil around, but nothing too drastic. But nonetheless, it's better to have done. And uh, that should be on on that wire a bit more than that, I think. That shouldn't be down there, but we'll leave that alone for now before I electrocute myself. Um, yeah, uh, there should be a metal clip that holds the speedometer cable in at the gearbox end down here. Uh, I don't have one. Um, I might see if I can get a cable tie to fit, but I haven't really got any ideal cable ties. But um, just while we're in here, here are the inboard brakes so they look fun to work on uh, the stubby gear shift like the 2cv you see it's uh, it comes out the top of the gearbox and then the linkage goes back in we've got the handbrake mechanism here and i might just um, squirt some wd on this stuff i don't like white grease um, i don't think white grease works all that well it tends to just attract dirt and make things extra sticky to be honest um, so um, yeah i'm not convinced it is the best but uh, yeah, I've removed that heater hose to give better access to spare wheel, of course, so we can see what's going on under here a little more. Right, I don't have um, the right clip, but I have managed to get a cable tie on. You won't be able to see it because it's under the rubber bung at the bottom and it's all very dark down there. But hopefully that'll do a job of holding that in place. So now I've got the fun job of re reinstating this cable here. That's a scratch the paintwork. So this cable needs to go under there and then there's a hole under here somewhere which you can't see because Citroen where I've got to get that cable in. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Now the fun really begins, trying to find this cable behind here. Oh, oh, that's the back. I'm touching the back of the speedometer. No, oh, where's the cable? I can't feel the cable. Oh. See, it's, you really do have to get in up to the elbow. I thought I'd pull the main binnacle out so I can show you what's going on in here. Um, here is the um, cable coming in, uh, it should be more over this way and uh, that's about where you need it to um, plug into the back of the speedometer. So it's been an interesting hole there for no apparent reason, a bit of ventilation. Um, but the problem is as soon as you let go of it, it pings over there and my only access is through this speaker hole here. Uh, obviously I can't come in through here because there will be the speedometer binnacle in the way and there's not enough movement on the cable and nor with this metal washer can it come any further in for me to connect it up to the binnacle and then put the binnacle back in. It is um, deliciously fromage fray, from very, very French. I don't know what fromage fray means, I'm just angry. And my solution is to fit a cable tie loosely around the speedo cable so I can reach the cable tie quite easily. And then I can reach the speedometer cable and shove it on the back of the speedometer. Let's see if that works. Well, this is uncomfortable. Oh. Always wanted to know what your sex face looks like. Try working on a Citroen and recording yourself. Oh, I just want to get my elbow, if I can get the elbow in. Oh, ow. Why can't they fit slightly larger speakers? Oh. Why couldn't I have bought something that wasn't a bloody Citroen? Oh. Oh. Um, I've got the cable. Oh no, I did have the cable between my fingers. Oh. Ah. Oh, here we go. 
there we go there's the cable there's the back of the speedometer all I'll go on oh oh I like that noise have we got engagement there? There's only one way to find out. And that is to go for a drive. Oh dear, look at the state of that. Jeepers. And look at this. <laughs> that is um, as uncomfortable as it looks. Um, yeah, that's just another inch on that. And oh, it'd be marvelous. But nonetheless, that's not what we've got. Let's drop the bonnet, go for a drive. Well, yeah, that. Uh... Oh, she's a bit cold. But that looks like um, it might well be working to me. Hurrah! Oh, that's good news. How long it'll last, I don't know, but um, we'll zero the trip again. Oh, no, we, we won't zero the trip because it's French, um, but that nonetheless appears to be a working speedometer. Oh, you don't know how happy that makes me. And there we go. Uh, I feel like um, a bit of an idiot now, but um, I do actually have a working speedometer and um, yeah that's um, jolly decent to have that's going to make um, quite a difference um, yeah, I mean it makes more legal for a start but um, it also means I can actually tell how quick I'm going without having to try and guess from the rev counter um, so uh, yeah very pleasing development uh, I still need to do the clutch I've still got a whistling that I think is from the thrust bearing um, on t on well it's not on idle it's whenever the clutch is up and um, I'm just kind of hoping I can get that sorted before destroying the thrust bearing. I think that's what it is. I mean, it could just be that it's the gearbox um, whistling in neutral. Citroen gearboxes do tend to be a bit noisy in neutral, but it doesn't strike me as that. I think it is um, clutch. So um, that might be next to try and get sorted out. But um, I think I might have to wait for us to be able to start moving a bit more. I need better tools, tools I don't have access to. I think I might have some short spanners at my unit. Um, but uh, they're talking a positive game here in Wales and um, while they're very strictly enforcing the rules at the moment about going out I'm very fortunate that I'm on a bit of private ground I can actually do some test driving without going onto public roads um, yeah they're, they're kind of hopeful that within a few weeks we might get some freedom we're never going to just go back to normal just like that that's never going to happen but um, a bit more freedom would enable me to get to the unit um hopefully get another car MOT'd because while I've been very pleased with the progress of the GSA um there are other cars I want to drive other cars I want to get out um Ellie being chief amongst them um so yeah we'll, we'll see what happens we'll, we'll try and get things progressing but uh, it's nice to actually do a tinkering video I hope you've enjoyed it too I certainly have um I will say these these Citroen GSAs are wonderful cars but um oh they are a pain to work on you just end up cutting yourself to ribbons you can't get at anything um, i'm sure with time it gets easier and you can work your way around a bit more um, i haven't got that time at the moment i'm still very much at the learning stage but it's been good fun so without further ado i should say thank you very much for watching uh, don't forget you can support hubner in various ways you can, there's patreon which i keep forgetting to mention um, or you can do donations via the store if you wish you can buy stuff at the store um, which um, supports not only me but also Rachel and George the cat and uh, yeah thank you for watching see you again soon